All right, welcome back. In this one, I'm gonna run through some examples on what you can do to uh, either put your opponent in trouble or get out of trouble. So we're here, we're left in a situation like this. We're on reds, your opponent has just missed a ball over a pocket. And now what do we do here? Do we try and pot out on reds or do we play safe? How can we play safe? Or how do we put out? So straight away, with international rules, obviously, having a ball over a pocket is not good. So whenever an opponent has a ball like this, you can look at moving it away. So but some of these things could be just um, things you may know already, but also I might show you something that, you know, at the end of the day, you may use on a, on a league night or something like that. Um, you know, so all information, is uh, always helpful, or any information is helpful. So, in this situation, I'm looking at the table thinking, okay, if I can actually, if I try and pot out here on reds, I've still got a, a dodgy black to deal with. So, if I pot his yellow with maybe one of my reds, he now has to go for that yellow, and he may open up the black for me as well. So. I have reds on this side of the table, so if the white stays on this side of the table, I'm all good, I, can, I should get a pot, a ball. Or if he plays a shot and leaves the white down this end of the table, I still have a ball down this end of the table, whether it's this one or this one. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna play this into there and come here, and then I'm gonna play a changeover, or a turnover shot, and play red onto yellow, but I'm not gonna pot my red I'm gonna make sure that my red lands on this side of the pocket so we can't double the yellow down. So, somewhere over here. And now, just need to make sure that the red pots the yellow but lands on this side. So that there has blocked the path. Yes, he can come off the rail, but he has to hit that spot exactly perfect. All right, and there's a good chance that he's gonna flick it off anyway. So that there is a simple safety, and now your opponent uh, is in big trouble. So just sometimes playing simple safeties can be very effective rather than trying to force the hand and, and trying to pot out and then leave your opponent tap-ins. So there's a good safety situation there. Now, let's just say if you wanted to get down and try and belt it in like that. You can see how hard that was. And you can see in this situation that probably the best outcome for him, got a good white here, but I've got so many safety shots now, I can literally Go for the go for the out. I can roll this one in, and then I've got the rest of these balls to go game with. Or I can lay a snooker in there. I've got so many options. So that's that one. All right, that little situation. We're on reds. They're on yellows. If we miss on reds here, good chance we're gonna pot out on yellows. So yes, it may look like a routine routine out, but Something you can actually do while we're putting out on reds. If I do miss, or even if I don't miss and still make the out, I can still go about this in a way where I can take some pressure off myself. And what I mean by that is actually when I put the red into the center pocket, rather than just put it in the center pocket, try and glance the yellow and try and move the yellow somewhere along here. And it just makes the yellows that little bit more harder, it can take the pressure off me a little bit if knowing the fact if I miss it might be game over and it might actually just get me over the line too. So first shot I'll, I'll take, this one. Something like that. It may seem still quite easy, but what I've done is I've made it harder than what it was before. So I haven't done too much. I've probably just done enough now to make myself feel better. But also, if I do miss, that could be the ball that saves me and allows me back in the frame. So now, 
I can go about cutting out nice and easy and that takes a little bit of pressure off. So just try and remember, if you're ever potting a ball in the center pocket, if you can kill their ball without losing position, if you have to lose position to kill one of their balls, then don't do it. If you're potting out, you're potting out. So if you can do it and not lose position, then it's okay. Another situation here, balls have sped like this off the break. You can go yellows or reds. Yellows, they're all there in a way. We have a dodgy one here, possibly a dodgy one here, but reds, they're all out in the open. So straight away, I see a problem. Can I deal with that problem? Yes, I have a ball here. I can deal with it almost straight away. So what most, obviously, the good players do, or the top level players, they will try and uh, find a way to deal with this straight away. Only because if it goes wrong, then they have options. If it, if it goes right, then I can continue on with the out. So what I'm looking for here is, how do I deal with this straight away? I can play this one and come down, or I can play this one and then play this one and come across. I can't play this one and go into it. So I'm actually looking at rolling this one in, having a nice angle here to knock that in, and go under these and open them up. I have this ball to land on, this one, this one, and also I have these if they come out okay. So take the risk early. So roll that in. Now, I don't have to go into it too hard either. Too many people go into them too hard. A nice soft to medium pace. Just like that. And you can see now, I can knock that one in. I've got this one. I can roll, roll this red onto that red and knock that in. So I have options here. You can see that I can play that one a little bit harder. I probably played that uh, in a way, could say too soft, but as you can see, I still have an option there, an option here, and that one also is possibly just on as well. So I've got three options here, all for dealing with my dramas straight away. And if it did go wrong, let's say it did go wrong, I've got options to actually play good safety and keep myself in the frame. You do not, so in this situation here, if I pot out and, and cleared all these balls off the table and then went into that last and this landed wrong, like here and not here, if this landed wrong, now, as soon as I stuff up and miss, you're giving your opponents an easy out and you don't want to do that. So if you ever find a problem, deal with it straight away, Go into it. Yes, sometimes you need a bit of luck, but in this game, you need luck. And uh, try and try and create some luck for yourself. So don't be afraid to be a little bit attacking right at the start. It's okay. Don't ever leave it to the end if you can help it. So go into it straight away and see how you go. Another situation here. Again, broken the balls, got a beautiful split. Red balls aren't really there. Yellow balls look okay as well. I'm not really on a ball other than a dead ball here. And we can cash in this one. So here's the thing that I see a lot of people do right from the start. They don't want to lose, uh, they don't want to give their uh, chance at the table or their visit up very quickly. So what they'll do here, after the break, they'll find the easiest ball. If I roll this one in, I'm possibly going to go straight in off. So I'm gonna to have to try and jack up. Or you can roll this one in and guarantee yourself a chance on the yellows. But the problem here is, this dodgy one on the rail can come back to bite us because after we roll this one in, we may land sort of in no man's land and we have to deal with this one. We can only pop this one, this one in the center pocket if we're right behind it. Or if we're here, we can play a nice double, but this is in the way for now. So 
it can actually become a hindrance. So what you can do is, if you're on your dead ball straight away, that now becomes, in a way, the black ball. So if we knock that in, I have a beautiful linking ball here or here. So what we can do is we can knock that in, then I can roll this one in if I want, stop the white here, roll that in, come out, pop that, come down here, knock that in, knock that in, and that one goes in there, and that one goes in there. So we actually don't have any hard balls. We take a hard one first, if we knock it in, we should win the frame. If we miss it, well then that's on us. We go back and practice that shot. So get down, knock it in, and then as you can see, the rest is how I said before. All right, last one. Broken the balls, this is how they landed, reds or yellows. Now, reds, black ball is uh, covered by the red. So in a way, sometimes people think, or players think that, hey, I'll go reds because I'm covering the black. In this situation, if we play reds, this could actually come down and bite us later if we're trying to pot out. We can try, we, it, it, that shot there isn't on, maybe with a lot of side, but we could foul and then it's over. You can play red onto black onto red, but then we're pushing these balls over here and that's no good. So we can open up with this one, but again, these just don't link nicely. So yes, we can play a yellow in there or a yellow in there, but what I'm looking at here is, and whenever you see a situation like this, see if you can do something with balls that are up here, if you can move this uh, situation down here by, by playing the yellow off the rail, off the red, opening up the, the black and pushing one of their reds down as well. So in this situation, I'm looking at going yellows, not reds, and I'm going to try and come off the rail, open up this area, and then continue from there. So, just something as simple as that can change the frame very quickly. Now, I can roll these balls in, everything is out in the open. Black ball is out in the open now, and just look how much easier yellows are to pot out than before. Just because a ball is covering a black doesn't mean we should actually go for that colour. Sometimes in world rules, that was the way to go, but with, uh, with international rules, everything is a lot more attacking. So try and look in a way for the attacking side first. And if not, if you can't find it, then it's okay to play safe or get a good white ball. Or try and look for, for things like this. Whenever, whenever you have shots that are far back down here, you can come off rails and open up balls just like this. You'd be surprised how often it happens. So whenever you're in a frame next, have a look at that and hopefully one of these situations come up in the future and uh, you can play it to your advantage. So hope you like these couple of tips. Let me know what you think and uh, again, throw us some ideas and uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.